Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a review on the illustrious mint chocolate swirl. So I did pick this up last weekend at my local outlet store in Houston and we're just going to give you a full in-depth review. Um, we're going to talk about scent notes that I think it has because there's no notes on this packaging. It is just like this swirly packaging with mint chocolate swirl in orange writing. And I think this is actually, not I think, I know this is actually from Canada because it has fine fragrance mist and then in French it says the same thing underneath it. So it's a Canada exclusive. Actually, I think it's from, let's see, on the bottom it has a zero, so it's from 2020. So it is older um, and I'm surprised we haven't seen it in any other form in the outlet stores, but yeah, we're gonna do an in-depth review on this, what I think the scent notes are based on what it smells like, and I have a few comparison um, items down in front of me that I'm gonna compare it to. So yeah, this is just gonna be an in-depth review on mint chocolate swirl. Okay, starting off, this one was pretty hard to find, but it was on the $3 table at my outlet store. It's probably only gonna be at outlet stores just because that's where they send overstock product, uh, whether it's from the United States or from all the other countries that Bath & Body Works is in, which I think is US, Mexico, and some countries in the Middle East. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but I've had comments uh, recently tell me that they do have some in the Middle East, which is why some packaging will have like Arabic on it. So just something to know, very interesting. But yeah, this one is from Canada and it smells really, really good. Honestly, I do like it. It has this beautiful mint, like a very, very light green, almost like a pistachio color um, spray to it. It does not stain your clothes. I've sprayed this. I was wearing white uh, yesterday and I sprayed it on myself and it's totally fine. It doesn't last very long, but honestly, these fine fragrance mists don't last that long, which is why I'm kind of sad we didn't see it in any other form. I'd love to have this in like a body lotion or body cream or something. But yeah, it is a really beautiful scent. It does not have chocolate in it whatsoever. It's actually a little musky. Um, it has like the mint of the inside of an Andes mint, if you've ever had those, that like strip in the middle, that kind of mint, that's what it reminds me of. It's kind of an edible um, mint. It's not a peppermint. It's like a, like a mint compote that you get from fresh mint sprigs, not necessarily a peppermint kind of scent. Um, and it does actually have coconut to it. So the reason that I know this, and honestly from smelling it, you can definitely smell the mint and the musk, but the coconut is because it's coconut mint drop. It literally is coconut mint drop repackaged and there was like this huge hype over it and it was just coconut mint drop. But I'm not mad because I really do love this one and they haven't come out with it since they brought it back in 2020. So coconut mint drop, for reference you guys, um, this is my packaging from 2020. I'm about right here on it and I've been kind of like going sparingly on it because it's a really good scent. The notes on it are white coconut, ice, peppermint, and winter musk. So that's the notes there on the back. But yeah, this one actually came out back in around 2014, 2013, 2015. It came out twice for Christmas back then and I did not get a chance to smell it back then. So you guys will have to let me know if you had it um, back when it first came out in like that 2013 to 2015 time range. You'll have to let me know. But it did come out as Coconut Mint Drop in the fall with the signature collection of Twisted Peppermint, Winter Candy Apple, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And we had not seen it since 2015 or 2014. I'm not quite exactly sure what year that the last iteration of it was. Um, but yeah, it came back in 2020 and everybody really loved it. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I had it in shower gel. I had it in, I think, body cream and I had it in this fine fragrance mist. And the reason why I enjoyed Coconut Mint Drop so much was because it's this other one, not really repackaged, but these are very close sister scents. So this is Frosted Wonderland from 2014. And this one, I have not memorized the notes. I'll put them down below um, because my Fine Fragrance Mist does not have notes on the back of it. Um, but yeah, it's an old, old scent. Smells very similar, but not exactly like it. 
so it's not quite the exact same as these two but when I figured out that this scent was pretty much like they're pretty much sister scents I would say same bases with just slightly more added to this one this is like the more um simple simplified version of frosted wonderland um this is the simplified version but once i figured out that these two were sisters i was in love with coconut mint drop and it really is a very good scent i would say now that it came out in this collection which i think is from the summer in canada i'm almost positive but the packaging does not make me think that it was meant for christmas time or for winter time um, I'm kind of thinking this doesn't have to be a winter exclusively scent. So that's like making me feel really good because I love these scents. I love all three of these actually. Yeah, so if you miss Coconut Mint Drop and you were not able to get it in 2020 and you don't want to buy it off of Mercari, then this one is definitely the same exact thing. Um, and it's only available on outlet stores. So if you don't have an outlet store, it literally is just Coconut Mint Drop. Um, I'm hoping that maybe since everybody was like going crazy over this scent that that tells Bath & Body Works to bring out Coconut Mint Drop again in the um, winter time for this year for 2022. But yeah, and they're both very closely related to Frosted Wonderland. This one's a little more dynamic of a scent versus this one's a little bit um, kind of tailored down to cater towards the masses. Basically, this one has like a lot of different scent notes. It's very complex, but yeah, these are all very similar, but these two are exactly the same. So don't don't go crazy if you can't find it because it is coconut mint drop. So yeah, that was the review of mint chocolate swirl. I hope that you guys found that helpful. Let me know down below if you have any thoughts on the scent or if you remember when uh, coconut mint drop came out in like 2014. Let me know if you think it's the same scent as this one because I know things change like vanilla bean noel has changed many times throughout the year. So I'm sure this has changed too. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.